hi guys welcome back i'm going to teach you how the voltage the v in or b plus the main voltage is distributed in every motherboard we're gonna check this board and also another board two boards basically guys i'm going to teach you in these two motherboards in order to master voltage distribution very important so let's get started so let's connect the power adapter okay we will use guys basically we have a flexible cable we're gonna connect the power adapter like this i'm going to select always the 20 volts here my friends i'm going to teach you how the v plus or the b plus the main voltage is distributed if you master this power flow you can repair any board because i'm going to show you how to follow the main voltage from the input until all circuits ram circuit cpu circuit etc means how the, the voltage is distributed if you see basically these two pins here are ground these two are high so if we check here we have 19 volt my friends here also we have 19 volts this is the first step the presence of the 19 volts or 15 volts depending on the motherboard in the input sometimes my, my friend you can find here for example the voltage the v in is here but it doesn't travel to the motherboard because here you have a dry always check dry in these pins okay as you can see in the image the pins are not soldered correctly so the here we have the first switch if we go here we have 19 volts so 19 volts pass from here to the switch normally the switch here we have the pin number one okay because the source three pins for source pin number two pin number three all pins hold 19 volt good let's check the gate here we have the gate let's check we have 8 volts. The gate is activated. The switch is in PNY because we have positive voltage in the gate. The in channel, I mean the in channel MOSFETs, this is in channel, are activated when they get a positive voltage in the gate. So once we have the positive voltage here, we will get here 19 volts. Nice. This is the drain. 19 volt in four pins as you can see four pins hold 19 volt so the switch is good the input voltage here is wonderful uh, basically the switch is not the switch for the input this is for the battery here the proof we're gonna find in this side 19 volt okay in this side nope because we didn't connect the battery so this is for the battery so for this motherboard has just one switch this switch okay okay nice after that my friend you have to look at the current sense resistor because from the current sense resistor the switch here will be or the 19 volt here will pass directly to the current sense resistor this one is for the battery as you can see no voltage on it this is for the battery when we connect the battery and we remove the adapter you will find here 12 volts and also here 12 volts and also here 12 volts okay okay let's look at the current sense resistor in this motherboard so we have to go to the to the other side here nice here is the current sense resistor my friends if we check this current sense resistor I will find 19 volts as you can see 19 volts remember please remember because this could be confusing for you always or usually the current sense resistor the main current sense resistor is bigger because this current sense resistor measure the current consumed by the motherboard the entire motherboard but this current sense resistor here small one this one 
but we have nothing here. Why? Because this one is for the battery. When we remove the adapter and we connect the battery, this MOSFET will hold zero volt. But this one will hold 12 volt. And also this one will be will hold 12 volt in both sides because the motherboard works with the battery. But now we have zero because the motherboard will work with the adapter. So this one is small because this one is measure the current consumed by the battery okay it measures the current consumed by the battery but this current sense resistor basically this one is bigger why why this one is bigger because this one measure the current consumed by the whole motherboard not just the battery including it measures the current consumed by the motherboard including the battery okay this is why it's big like this so from this point the 19 volt will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard including for example this circuit here let's check we have 19 volt here because we have a circuit over here if we go for example to this circuit also for the processor just look at the input here we have the input 19 volt magic no guys it's logic look another circuit over here the input 19 volts this is amazing another circuit here check input 19 volts uh, by saying this kind of tricks my friends you will like the electronic you will love electronics the electronic is logic not magic not random that's why guys i told you uh, just replacing component i didn't like replacing component i like the logic to be logic and to use the process in everything okay so here i teach you my friends that always locate the current sense resistor because the current, the current sense resistor is a key in the hardware is to bridge from the current sense resistor the big one not the smallest one the big one here you will find usually r020 or r010 uh, its resistance is about one ohm about one ohm i can even check it right now let's check it okay no problem let's check it and then we're gonna continue so let's see this arm here in the multimeter the best meter this one i like this multimeter we have to find one ohm let's check one from here another problem here 2.3 this is good nice two points one one point. nice okay let's grab another motherboard and check uh, the constant resistor let me see this one for example this one for example here we have a constant resistor we have one here we have another here let's check it 2.2 nice this one so good 2 1 ohm the same very low resistance for current sense resistor so from the current sense resistor as i told you from the current sense resistor here the voltage will be distributed to all circuits if you even if we select the continuity option here in the multimeter and put one probe here you see one probe here in the current sense resistor like this pay attention one probe here and if i go to all inputs i have continuity here also you see continuity this also the same this as you can see guys the same here also the same so this is the proof that 
the current sense resistor is the bridge from the current sense resistor the voltage is distributed to all circuits in the motherboard i hope that you understand please if you have any comment i will try to read the comments and answer you my friend short circuit you have for example let's see here okay do you see this circuit let's see we have short circuit here short circuit here is shorted Capacitor shorted, MOSFET shorted, IC everything. Remove this one. Try to remove the inductor. Do, do not remove switches. Remove the inductor. If you remove the inductor, you will get short in this side or in this side. If the short is in this side, means you have problem here. IC switches or capacitors. If you remove the inductor and you get the short in this side means all those are good. You have problem here with these capacitors or with the output. If the output is the CPU, means you have problem with the CPU circuit. If the output is RAM, means you have problem with the circuits. Very easy, guys. Because why? Because the inductor, my friends, separ separates this stage from this stage always if you have a short removed inductor you will get the short in this side or in this side in order to isolate troubleshooting